Welcome back to another video. We are still here in the Bahamas. So we have so much that we want to do when we get back here and I'm super excited for that. But with all the swimming, exploring and spearfishing, I wanted to do something different today. Something based on Bahamian food culture. So me and the boys, we went out diving today and we caught some groupers, lobsters and snapper as well. And we're going to be cooking some real Bahamian food today at um, a restaurant on Farmer's Key Island. And apart from conch salad that I ate earlier in Raj's video, I haven't had real Bahamian dish, I would say, the most popular ones apart from the conch salad. So I'm happy to try the I think we're going to be doing this stew fish. So I'm going to be taking you guys behind the scenes and showing you how it is done. So let's go. A little oil mm -hmm. in my pot and then the flour and you keep stirring it till it turns brown. Mm -hmm. You can't leave it because it burns. If you burn, you, can't, you know, you taste burning. So you have to keep stirring it until it gets brown. Oh, so this is a browning part oh, of it? Yes. Oh, okay. That's just the starting of it. Okay. So, so it's the process has started already. It's gone. I missed it. Okay, you could, you could try this one because I just put that one on. This is the one I started here when JJ came to start browning it. This is the flour mm -hmm. and the little oil. Okay. And you keep stirring until it don't burn. Mm -hmm. You have to keep stirring it. You can't leave it. Maybe. Yeah? So we have two different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She do hers different. Dry pot. Dry pot. So oh. you see how hers is with my oil. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna see which one tastes better too. <laughs> well, you could. So she has two different kinds. She's checking out. Yes, you're leaving. All right, go on. Boring. We we'll have fish. We we'll have stew fish. That's better. We'll don't want stuff. it. Huh? Yeah. How long does this take? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a workout. I don't, yeah, I don't time it. I just, when it's finished, it's finished. It's a little boy up in here. That's why I say you have to keep standing. She was teach without putting her grease, her cooking oil first. Mm -hmm. I was teach to put in my cooking oil, a little bit of cooking oil first. Okay. So this, that's what's the difference right here. Mm -hmm. Toys don't have grease in it as yet, like cooking oil. Mine's have. So okay, that's, that's it. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's not the difference today. Why well, you see two pots going on? <laughs> This is a workout. Yeah. You think you could try it? So you mixed it until it was brown. Everything in the same mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So this is the easy way. Oh, that one. Which one? Anyways, anyways, this anyways is easy because you got to stir it until it's brown. Yeah. True. Brown. So any which way. That is. 
other people to use seasoned salt or something, but you can use salt and pepper. Crush it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's all you use, salt and pepper and lime. I know that part, the lime. Right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like a cornstarch kind of thing where the people normally use. Keep. But this is the best way. Okay. I don't trust this though. The varnish is it? That's how you do yours? It's just, I just lock mine off and then pour. Thick? Just put, like, put it and then lock it off. Like dice? Yeah, dice up. Yeah. Smaller than that. That's how I do that. I know how you do it. We do it all different now. Your style, you do it. You don't do your style. But I cut mine and dice it up, you know. Show it. And everything I cook. Oh, rice, everything. Oh, yeah, see, this is brown. Yeah. People like to do right and like mine, like a stew and brown. As well as the water. I want everything that you guys do. <laughs> everything. See some hot pepper right in that bowl right here. You know why they put hot pepper? That's, that's oh, finger pepper. pepper. She called them finger pepper. It's hot? Yeah, they're hot. That's what we see some fish with. And salt. Some people like onion. Some yeah, people we like it small. So, that's how you know. So I'm going to say the fish stew served normally. Pardon? Is it? Yeah. The stew fish, what is it? Most of the times, bigger, big type fish with a lot of flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use a uh, mocking fish. Right. So I mean, what you eat with the stew fish? What we eat it, we can eat bread, we can eat junk cake. Okay. If you want white rice, there it is. Anything else you like. I love the dynamic. I love the fact that she loves the stew fish with Johnny Cakes and grits. You like the white rice? I probably eat the white rice. I tasted the grits the other day. It, it was good, it just wasn't filling. Filling, that's, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't filling. What it is? Why do you want all this onion in here? Who didn't want all the onion in here? Yeah. Onion makes stew. Get it, you know. You don't use too much. That's why I made all this stuff. This is enough for you for this part. So they would have to answer, I don't know. <laughs> she asked me if I could make something like this back home. Well, for one, making it a while ago, it took a lot of work yeah. and patience. Then, woman, I'm only for patience. <laughs> so, <laughs> tomato paste. Just a little. Just a little. We have onion, sweet pepper, okay. and tomato paste. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Miss Nixon cut up your hot pepper to go in it. Hot pepper? Yes. So, before you stew, you stir in it and it comes to a boil. Okay, tip on. Oh, so this is like the gravy. Just the gravy. Just the gravy. Mm -hmm. She's gonna see how it's gonna be the best part. Yeah. Don't cut it. the gravy is the best part. So you have to stir this now again to make it thick. Keep stirring it so it's gonna get 
Tute. That's the part of it. This is a process. Oh yes. Just going to make up in your mind if you want it and you're going to do it. <laughs> if you want something to eat, say stew and you want to do it, mm -hmm. it's good for you. We have to add brown, yeah. We have to add brown into it. So how do you so, get yours brown? Brownie. 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 Oh, no, yeah. I don't that's what we do. That's how that's how we do it in Jamaica. Oh. So th your it's process different. is different. Mm -hmm. But I love that. Yeah, we don't at least I don't put brown in the name. <laughs> this is like from scratch. Mm -hmm. You start in the boil. And if it get tickle, you could add more water. You know. Mm -hmm. With the fish, how much fish you are in Annie? This bigger. Some people do a bigger part. Still, but just a small part. That's a small part? Just a small part, too. Yeah. For how many people? For three, how much? <laughs> how much somebody eat? <laughs> it's about how much you eat, really, you know. Apple, right? Not almost. This could take two or three peppers, according to how people like the pepper. You like spicy. pepper? You like pepper? Yeah, I love pepper. You don't really. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the chef. For this yeah. Rest, yeah. Yeah. How long now? Long time. Yes. So long. Uh -huh. So you know you can cook it, you just put it in the lime juice, you just throw it in. Just how much you want. See, I don't mash up sometimes, so when you've been cooking, sometimes you just put, you know. But well, you've been cooking a long time, so you don't have to measure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it is. Sometimes I measure some things, mm -hmm. sometimes I don't. Like this, I just put it in. You can taste the salve and see if it's going to make salt in it. Just tip your finger and see if it's going to make salt in there. Salt in there. Salt in there. Salt in there. She's already prepped. Oh, Miss Carrie, you leaving? Pardon? You leaving? No. Yeah. No, no, yeah, just like that. Nice little vibe here. 
nice vibe. Alright guys, so that was the process on how to make Bahamian steel fish. It is totally different from Jamaican style, but I am super excited to try it. I gave you the breakdown of everything. And yeah, it's gonna take a few minutes for it to finish boiling down because you may have to make this fish soak in. But I like it, it smells really good. So today was an eventful day. I look super tan right now. We went like I said, we went out fishing. So I'm exhausted. So I think this is the perfect way to end the day. So meanwhile I was videoing the the stew fish Raj go cook lobster. Lovely. What do you call it? Steel fish. Oh, steel fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's almost like I don't know what I do. Alright. Smell good. Smell good. It's not bad. Just, it, it's simple flavors like them just add onion, sweet pepper, lime. It is good. <laughs> oh guys, I'm stuffed. Raj came back with lobster. I couldn't even finish the steel fish, but it was so good. Bad. Yeah, oh god, no one. We don't want no more. Alright. Good morning guys so it is our last day we're currently waiting on the plane to take us back to Nassau airport because that's where we'll be departing to go back to Jamaica but I wanted to say that you know even though I'm a little sad that I'm leaving here I'm so happy that I got to experience Bahamas for what it truly is you know it's it's so much more than just being beautiful I got to experience so much more catching the biggest fish and lobsters I've ever caught before in my life. Deep diving and exploring with the animals of the sea. You know, I cooked on a beautiful island, watching the sun go down with my friends. You know, it's about, it's, it's, it's just so much more. It's about the good vibes, the good laughter, good people, trying new food, trying new food for the first time. It's different cultures, it's everything. I'll never forget these memories. Like, this is how I look after one week of being in the water. I'm so tan, I'm exhausted, but I'm happy that I got to experience Bahamas for what it is. This is Bahamas. This is Bahamas. And I'm and I'll never forget that. I hope y'all enjoyed these videos that I've been posting these past few weeks. It is not the end, it is only the beginning. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. She's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever. forever.